your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. I'm pretty much storytelling up here lately because there's not much to tell about the weather as far as the rain goes. There's nothing on the radar. Uh, we're just seeing the same day play in and out. Uh, 60 degrees in Huntsville. Some other areas, the rural areas are already in the upper 40s. That low humidity and of course the fact we're losing the daylight uh, really starts to cool things off a lot quicker. 56 in Florence, 65 over in Atlanta. And we go up the road here into the plains and you got to go a lot, a lot farther northwest to find all these blues. That's where the colder areas just across the state line, the, the border up into Canada is where the coldest of areas. And we're going to start to seeing pieces of this dropping to the south probably over the next three weeks. So we really need to get some big cold fronts down here and ahead of it, get that south wind going to get some showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast. And right now we have one disturbance that came through and it's just going to shift our wind to the west. And the problem is when you get a west wind ahead of a cold front, it doesn't tap into any humidity from the Gulf of Mexico that evaporates off of the Gulf and uh, overall we just don't get any rain and right now the jet streams lined up with the cloud cover here you get north of San Francisco near Sacramento and it comes right across Wyoming and then takes a dip up into the Great Lakes so they're getting some rain there but there's just nothing going on around here even Florida fairly light showers there but they don't really need any more rain after the recent hurricanes here's a wind forecast for us tomorrow there's not much wind to talk about the wind are going to pick up gradually each and every day. We'll probably start to get some wind gusts around 15 by Thursday afternoon. Uh, frontal boundaries coming in uh, late Friday into Saturday. That'll pick our wind gusts up to about 20 miles an hour, but this is not going to pick up any chance of rain. Here's your morning commute out there. We've got lots of sunshine, a few high clouds with that weak disturbance that produce a couple of showers in northern Arkansas today. Around here, it's just going to shift our wind to the west as we get closer to the lunch hour and the temperatures kind of like today, close to 80 at lunch and looking at highs anywhere from 83 to 85. And this will play out each and every day until we get to the weekend. Then it'll just be slightly cooler tomorrow evening. I don't think you need a jacket early on, but maybe if you headed out late enough, you may need a jacket. It'll be kind of like tonight. All depends on your tolerance. You won't need any rain gear, though. You can just leave that at home, leave it in the car. That chance of rain and we're going to keep it at 0%, even though as we take a look at the 10-day forecast, with this front, it's going to stall to the south a little bit. There may get a few showers in the Birmingham area, but around here, we're just going to keep it out of the forecast. Havoc back in town as we get into Friday. That'll be their home opener. Overall, pretty much typical weather. October's usually dry, but usually not this dry. I know.